All this has happened before, and it will all happen again. But this time it happened in London. It happened on a quiet street in Bloomsbury. That corner house over there is the home of the Darling family. And Peter Pan chose this particular house because there were people here who believed in him. There was Mrs. Darling. George, dear, do hurry. We mustn't be late for the party, you know. Mrs. Darling believed that Peter Pan was the spirit of youth. But Mr. Darling... Mary, unless I find my cufflinks, we don't go to the party. And if we don't go to the party, I can never show my face in the office again. And if we can never show... I... Well, Mr. Darling was a practical man. The boys, however, John and Michael, believed Peter Pan was a real person and made him the hero of all their nursery games. Blast you, Peter Pan! <coughs> you to cut off me hand oh no john it was the left hand oh yes thank you wendy wendy the eldest not only believed she was the supreme authority on peter pan and all his marvelous adventures oh nana must we always take that nasty tonic nana the nursemaid being a dog kept her opinions to herself and viewed the whole affair with a certain tolerance Less noise, please. Oh, hello, Father. You old belled rat. Uh, what? What? Now, see here, Michael. Oh, not you, Father. You see, he's Peter Pan. And John's Captain Hook. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, have you seen my cuff? <laughs> oh, Nana, for goodness sake. Where are those cufflinks? Cufflinks, Father? Yes, the gold ones. Buried treasure. Where is it? I don't know. The map, then. Where's the treasure map? It got lost. Good heavens, my shirt front. Hooray! You found it. You found yes, it. Yes, so I have. And hereafter. Don't pour me, Michael. This is my last clean. No. No! George, dear, we really must hurry or we'll be... Mary, look. George. It's only Jack, Father. Why, Michael. It's not his fault. It's in the story. And Wendy says... Wendy? Story? I might have known. Wendy? Wendy! Yes, Father? Would you kindly... Oh, Mother, you look simply lovely. Thank you, dear. Wendy. Just my old gown made over, but it did turn out rather Mary, nice. Mary, if you don't mind, I... Why, Father, what have you done to your shirt? What have I? <laughs> now, George, really, it comes right off. That's no excuse. Wendy, haven't I warned you? Stuffing the boys' heads with a lot of silly stories. Oh, but they aren't. I say they are. Captain Crook, Peter Pirate. Peter Pan, Father. Pan, Pirate, Poppycock. Oh, you no, don't Father. understand. Father, have you Absolute Poppycock. And let me tell you, this ridiculous... Now, George. Now, George. Now, George. Well, now, George will have his say. Please, dear. Mary, the child's growing up. It's high time she had a room of her own. <laughs> 
in the nursery. And that's my last word on the matter. Do. Last straw. Out! Out, I say! No, Father, no! Yes! There'll be no more dogs for nursemaids in this house! Goodbye, Nana. Poor Nana. Oh, yes, poor Nana. But poor Father? Oh, no! Lost it! Where is that rope? Oh, thank you. Dash it all, Nana. D don't look at me like that. It's nothing personal. It's just that... Well, you're not really a nurse at all. You're, well, a dog. And the children aren't puppies. They're people. And sooner or later, Nana, people have to grow up. 